I asked a woman if she knew what a terabyte was. She guessed it was a really scary byte. The vast majority of women simply don't have the brains to do serious computer work. They certainly have intellect, just not technical intellect. And just as importantly, they don't have the desire to do technical work. It's that simple. I'm going to put you in IT, because you said on your CV you have a lot of experience with computers. <laughs> I did say that on my CV, yes. <laughs> I have a lot of experience with the whole computer thing, you know, emails. Sending emails, uh, receiving emails, <laughs> deleting emails. Um, I could go on. <laughs> Do. You know this from all of your female friends and colleagues. Most women avoid technical matters like the plague. From hi-fi systems to computers to car trouble. If it's electronic or mechanical and it doesn't vibrate, women don't want to know. On TV, however, women are these technical geniuses while men just flounder in their wake. His files are encrypted. Are you sure? Yes, I ran a checksum and built a subroutine to confirm. I have a doctorate in computer sciences. You're right, they use Blowfish algorithm. How can you tell? By the tab on the file headers. Can you decrypt it? The number was routed through at least a dozen different servers and they keep cycling back on it. Come on. Are you going to be able to do this? Milo, let me try this. I can do it. You just have to reconfigure the embedded decryption program to... Got it. That's it. Okay, I need your real-time descent vector. What's the point? Just give it to me, okay? I have an idea. Are you familiar with the Galvalin matrix analyzer? Yes, I am. There may be a faster way. I was a chem major at Caltech. You can reprogram on the go. Put me on the box, new coordinates. What's the point? Because I, I figured it out, no fallout. Impossible. Okay, well, I can explain it to you, or we could save the planet, okay? So it's your choice. Now set all missiles to self-destruct on impact. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. ridiculous. General, do you want to die today? This is the timeline projections. Sir, the woman's a genius. Oddly odds that no woman you know has ever heard of Unix, knows what it is, or could even spell Unix, let alone know how to navigate it. Basically, Airwolf is an aerodynamic lifting body with a twin turbine-driven rotor system, capable of propelling it to 300 knots. In other words, Senator, Airwolf is a Mach 1 plus chopper that can kick butt. Women can create terrible computer viruses. Until I say otherwise, your entire anti-terrorist computer network is jammed. And only another woman can stop it. We'll pull you out of my sector. She knows our network better than anyone. Tony says you can stop it, is that correct? Yeah, if it hasn't destroyed too much of the routing data. Good, do it. I'm trying to see the virus definition. I hope you have enough to go on. We'll know in a minute. Do what she says. Got it. There are virtually no female astronomers. It's simply not in a woman's nature to want to read endless printouts, make calculations, and interpret reams of technical data. Astronomy is strictly for men with beards. But in Hollywood, we have a top woman astronomer. All right, 1221.46. That's well within the L-band. Check off axis. It is J1741 plus 2748. Pulsar. Here's something really nutty. I heard of a couple guys that want to build something called an airplane. You know, you get people to go in it and they fly around like birds. It's ridiculous, right? Or what about, what about uh, breaking the sound barrier? Or, or uh, rockets to the moon? Or, or atomic energy? Or a mission to Mars? Science fiction, right? Why is the film and television industry hell-bent on portraying women in roles that are so far outside the abilities and inclinations of women that it becomes ridiculous? Hey guys, what do y'all think the deal is with those clowns? <laughs> nice. I'm Kelly Johnson. Hi, Kelly. It's my rig. Huh. I think they're hacking the network again. Uh oh. 
Are you running a diagnostic? Should I be? Yes, you should. So I am. Excuse me, young lady, I didn't see you standing there. You would be who? I'm just the analyst who detected the hack. Hold on. It was you? You did it? Even a supercomputer with a, a brute force attack would take 20 years to do that. This simply wouldn't happen. We may as well have a chimpanzee analyst, or a baby analyst, or even a potato analyst, is almost as likely. But of course, the same pretense is happening in the real world. Business and technology websites emphasise their women, as if women are somehow at the forefront of technical know-how. IBM show women in server rooms. You don't find women in server rooms, any more than you find women down coal mines or up telephone poles. The same happens with other areas of industry that simply don't appeal to women. Apparently, women bring something special to the workplace. The kind of prime virtue in the labour market is going to be a set of emotional skills that women have developed over hundreds of years. And I think it's that that is going to enable women to demand, in return, changes in the work culture, because organisations need women. So they're going to have to make whatever accommodation is necessary to keep those women there and in those places. And men will have to learn these kinds of emotional skills. I've suddenly developed the ability to multitask. Men can't multitask! Only women can multitask! Women cite doing the ironing whilst talking on the phone as multitasking. But what's a real example of extreme multitasking? Good. More salt in there, please. Come on, taste it. By no measure are women better than men at anything in the world of work. Well, in terms of their economic output, in terms of the things that they construct, in terms of the ideas they have, in terms of the effort that they put into um, non-child-rearing activities, I don't think there's any question that um, men by far exceed the achievements of women. Yes, in, in, every, in everything. There's, there's very little that I can think of that women can... Uh, in areas where women can outperform men, that is of significant um, economic value to a, to a community, a country. I can't think, well, can you? But, yeah, no, I can't, but what does that mean? <laughs> it, it means that women are lower down the scale of no, importance? It means, or no, how I do think we say they're equal importance if not equal worth? Well, very, because we don't necessarily need to, I mean, I think this is one of the things that, that women, has lo women have lost. Um, the value of um, you know the, the value that a person have is not necessarily just based on on the on what they can contribute in the physical world. You know there are other values that we have: the value of nurturing, the value of love, and all these uh, more ethereal the, the emotions and whatever. And I think women have, in a sense, betrayed their own gender because I think that by and large those are qualities that they were endowed with.